This is called a virtual paint system. And what it's meant to do is replicate spray painting procedures outside of a normal spray booth environment. As you can see, we're in a classroom right now and we have the ability to spray virtually inside the classroom. That's what this is. When we're spraying, we, we emit a lot of solvent out into the air. So of course, when we do it in the classroom, there is no solvent that gets sprayed into the atmosphere, no VOCs. I'm able to communicate with the student spraying uh, because when we're in the booth, of course, we have to be uh, fully hooded and it's very hard to speak to the, uh, to the student. In the chemistry department, we use a lot of solvents, which are both expensive to purchase and also very expensive to dispose of after we finish with them. So what the intention was was to, where possible, minimize the use of these solvents so that the cost to purchase and obviously the cost to dispose of become less. And if nothing else, we're doing a much uh, better job of, of protecting the environment. In a lot of cases, we're using this sort of size vial compared to a bigger size that we maybe have used in the past. But essentially, some of our labs, we were able to scale down the volume of solvent used to about 10%, 5% of what was used previously. Well, the idea we had was to take the performance development system, which is <laughs> described in this big binder, which everybody just knows as a course evaluations, and try to put it online. The current system of doing the course evaluations is paper-based, so it does generate a lot of paper, and then also just managing all that paper is, is quite costly, so we thought this would be an easy, easy fix. We have on an average of three to four hundred students coming through our lab in a week uh, between patient care and nursing, and we have open lab times for the students to practice as well. So one of the major things that we do are dressing kits. So when we rewrap them, we put all the equipment in it, we put it in here, and we reseal it with a little sealer. We have big shopping baskets that we put out with our, when, during our labs, and we put little signs out. The students send everything back to us, and we go through it, and we discard all the paper into the recycling bins. Um, we also reuse our IV bags. We reuse our syringes as well. We recycle our catheters. We make these uh, sleeves out of this packaging. And then once it's used, we cut it down and we use it for scissor packaging, and then it gets cut down again for pins and tape. I think you need to just look at what you're using on a daily basis and make, it, make decisions about what can be recycled. Put out signs, reduce, reuse, recycle. We do that, we put them out for the students, put out baskets, make it easy for them. Be organized, the students like to participate. Just do it.